Hello again, Freedom Church, Pastor Scott here. I just wanted to give you another update. Today is March 20th, and the leadership team of Freedom Church met last night, and we decided to go ahead and move our worship gathering online for the next two weeks. Uh, we are prepared to, to stay online a little bit longer if we need to, uh, depending on what our government says and health officials say and what's in the best interest of uh, public health. And I just want you to know this was not an easy decision because we truly value uh, the, the worship gathering the, and enjoy getting together and worshiping our Savior and King, uh, Jesus Christ. And, and I really enjoy seeing the interaction um, of our church, uh, of the saints on Sunday morning as we gather, as we pray for one another, as we encourage one another, as we serve one another. And, and I enjoy seeing the kids gather together for Kids Corner and learn about Jesus Christ and learn some of the key stories of the Bible. And, and I enjoy seeing Lindsay teach them. And, and I also enjoy seeing them after, after our worship gathering, them sitting up front uh, eating donuts and talking and, and connecting. So I'm, I'm really going to miss uh, gathering everybody together on Sunday morning. And I hope that it's not uh, that this doesn't go on and on and on for very long. But just know that we are uh, prepared for online services. We've been live streaming on Facebook for two years now. Uh, so we're not experts by any means, but we do have some experience with this. So what does this online gathering look like? How does it impact you and me? Basically, what's going to happen is we are going to pre-record um, our worship through song and worship through hearing elements of our corporate worship gathering. Um, we're going to do that tomorrow morning, so be praying for Trent and myself and, and the Morgans as we navigate through um, all of that. And then we are going to post it live on Facebook and on our webpage at 10 o'clock in the morning. So uh, you're going to be able to host watch parties. You're going to be able to tune in online. Uh, we're hoping to have the lyrics available for the song so you can sing along with us. And, and, and even though it's not going to be worship gathering in person, we're hoping that, that corporately we can still uh, worship. And um, so that's what's going to happen. Um, there may be um, some folks at the church building on Sunday morning. If people still want to gather, we're going to stay under that, that 10 uh, person uh, limit. But uh, we are going to have the watch party playing on Sunday morning. Uh, at the church facility um, and just in case there's any guests that show up as well. So please continue to pray um, and, and I want you to know that nothing can ultimately replace the value of being together in person um, but uh, we're going to do what we can over the next couple of weeks to still minister to you and serve you and worship uh, with you. So I also want to remind you um, and I'll be sending an email out about this, is that we take kind of a holistic approach to worship in, in that there, our Sunday morning worship gathering is just that, where we gather together to worship. But we are to, to live a lifestyle of worship, and this means that everything that we do um, is worship of God. And, and because of that, we're going to be providing some tools uh, for you to use. Uh, this looks like online Bible studies, uh, some, some videos to watch, some, some, some articles to read, some things to help you in your walk with this Lord while we are physically uh, separated. We want to stay as connected as we can. So if you want us to pray for you, please drop us a, a, an email, send us a comment on Facebook. We'll get our prayer team praying for you um, and all that. But uh, yeah, I think in addition to, to us gathering online on Sunday morning, I want to encourage you to find one or two people this week uh, that you can reach out to. It may be someone who goes to Freedom Church. It may not be. Uh, but find someone you can reach out to. Encourage them with the love and hope of Christ. Let them know that you're praying for them. Let them know if you need anything. I've been overwhelmed with the support and the number of people that have reached out and said, hey, if you, you have anybody that needs toilet paper, you have anybody that needs anything, just let us know. So if you or someone in your neighborhood needs something, please reach out to the church. We want to be uh, salt and light during this time. We want to still meet needs uh, during this time. So please let us know how we can help. Um, I think through all of this, uh, someone once said that, that even though we may not know and we may not be able to control what is happening, we do know the person who knows and who controls, and that's God. And so we put our hope and trust in him during this time. I pray that you have a good week. 
that you have a good weekend, and we will see you online on Sunday. Love you guys. Love being your pastor, uh, and we'll see you around.